everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name's Alexa Ray and welcome to another video I'm so glad you guys are here I'm so glad you guys clicked on this video and by the title of today's video you already know what we are doing today and you're probably asking yourselves I thought Alexa said that she was going on a book buying ban here we are I have a problem I am very well aware my problem is that I have no self-control when it comes to book buying apparently so here we are it's another bookstore vlog you guys know the whole deal you know the whole routine these are my favorite types of videos to film on my channel they are just so they're so comforting I love going book shopping I love walking around the bookstore I love going to the cafe and just hanging out reading a little bit but I also love watching bookstore vlogs they're so relaxing and I think that's why I love doing them so much that is what we are doing today except this bookstore vlog is a little bit different from my previous ones on my channel I am actually taking you guys to my childhood Barnes and Noble today. I'm super, super excited. I never come to this one like ever because it is a little bit far out for me. It's just not like my favorite Barnes and Noble, I guess you could say, but it has a very special place in my heart because it's the first Barnes and Noble I ever went to when I was really little. I'm super excited to see like what's new, if anything's really changed. The one thing I do really love about this Barnes and Noble is their cafe setup. I think their cafe setup is just super cozy and aesthetic but yeah I thought it'd be fun to switch it up a little bit take you guys to a Barnes and Noble that I do not believe I've taken you to yet I think I've taken you guys along to a good amount of Barnes and Nobles in my area but I don't think I've ever done one here so this is a very special one for me so we are going book shopping today at my childhood Barnes and Noble I am so freaking excited to take you guys along with me I am hoping to pick up some books that I was unable to find in my previous bookstore vlog we are gonna go book shopping and then we might even stop at the cafe honestly and grab like a little snacky snack that's what we're doing today I'm so excited to take you guys along with me and with all that being said let's go book shopping
first of all, can we talk about this lighting situation? Not the best. The sky though, it is so freaking pretty. We weren't even in Barnes & Noble for that long, honestly. It's only like 5.30 and it's dark out, so. So I'm gonna wait till we get home to do the book haul. But I have to say, that was actually a pretty successful like book shopping little day for me because they had a lot of books here that the other Barnes and Nobles that I usually go to don't have. We stopped at the cafe and I had a little lemon loaf, which is like one of my favorite things to get. And then I also got a sugar cookie latte, which it's my first time trying it. It's good, it's not my favorite. A lot of people say this is like their all time favorite holiday drink. I do like other drinks over this. So we're gonna head home and do a book haul. Okay guys, I just got home a little bit ago and I'm finally sitting down to do a book haul with you guys. I'm so, so excited because I have like some really, really cool books in here. Like I mentioned earlier, book shopping is such a relaxing thing for me to not only do, but I also love watching bookstore vlogs myself on YouTube. Book shopping is obviously a very popular thing that we like to do over here on my channel because it's so relaxing, so calming. I love finding new books to read and I love taking you guys along with me but I always get the question every bookstore vlog someone is always asking me Alexa you go book shopping so often how much do you actually spend when you go to the bookstore that often and just recently I was given a reality check on just how much I spent when it comes to book shopping and I just want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Cleo finally hit me one day how much money do I actually spend when it comes to book shopping and Cleo has helped me figure that out. Not only has Cleo given me a reality check when it comes to book buying and how much money I spend on books, but it's also helping me budget my money a little bit better so I'm able to continue doing the things I love most like book shopping. Cleo has this amazing feature. It's called the roast mode and basically you literally get roasted whenever you spend a little too much money. I discovered that I was spending a little bit too much money when it comes to going off to eat, going to Starbucks, and of course course, you guys all guessed it, book shopping. It makes it super fun when showing me where exactly I'm spending all my money as well as helping me better my spending habits. There doesn't need to be shame around your spending habits. With the Clio app, awareness is the first step. She's like your sassy best friend that keeps you and your spending in check. So take charge of your spending today. You guys can download the Clio app in my description box. It's completely free. Plus the roast mode is freaking hilarious. You guys should definitely try it out. So I have all of these books to share with you guys today. I I am super, super excited. One of them is actually one from a previous book haul, but it connects to this book haul. So that's why it's in this pile. I'm going to start with these three books because they don't connect or really go with the other books. The first book I picked up is Until Friday Night. It's by Abby Glynns. Abby Glynns? I'm not sure. Something like that. This is what it looks like. It's a football romance. And if you guys watched my previous book haul, I believe, I actually picked up the Wall of Winnipeg in me. That is another football romance and it's the only one that I've actually like ever seen anything about. For some reason, your girl is super into sport romances. One of my favorite series is the Off Campus series. It's like a hockey romance series. I heard the Wall of Winnipeg is super amazing and it's a football romance. So I saw this today and I was like, oh my gosh, it's another football romance. I wanna try it out. I don't think I've ever seen like anything about it. I don't know if anyone's ever talked about it. I'm my channel before but I'm super excited. To everyone who knows him, West has always been that guy. The cocky, popular, too handsome for his own good football god who led Lawton High to the state championship. But while West is a big man on campus on the outside, he's grief stricken on the inside. For the past year, he has watched his father slowly die of cancer and he hasn't told anyone because he can't face the truth. Two years ago, Maggie witnessed her father murder her mother. Afterward, she told the police what happened and then never spoke again. Even after moving to Lawton, Alabama to live with her uncle, Maggie kept her sorrow and her fracture heart hidden away. Now as his pain grows unbearable, Wes finally decides he needs to talk to someone about his dad. So in the dark shadows of the post-game party, he tells the one girl who doesn't speak all the things he can't tell anyone else. What Wes expected was relief, a flood of emotions, but what he didn't expect was for Maggie to reply, for her to reveal a pain even deeper than his own, for them to form a connection so strong that he couldn't ever let her go. I'm actually so excited for this because it sounds like a very roller coaster type of story. Honestly, kind of gives me like Colleen Hoover 
Weaver vibes. I don't know why. It's just like that storyline gives me Coho vibes. So I'm really excited to try this out. If any of you have read this book, comment down below and let me know what you think about it because like I said, I've never actually seen anything about this book. Next up, I am so excited about this one. It's called Love in the Times of Serial Killers by Alicia Thompson. This cover is probably one of my favorite book covers ever. I just love everything about it. I love the old time comic newspaper look. I love that it's this girl reading a mystery thriller book. It says right in the cover, can true love survive her true crime obsession? So she must have an obsession with serial killers, true crime, stuff like that. I just saw the cover and immediately was like, I need to try this out. I don't know. I just have a really good feeling about this. PhD candidate Phoebe Walsh has always been obsessed with true crime. She's even analyzing the genre in her dissertation. If she can manage to finish writing it, it's hard to find the time while she spends the summer in Florida cleaning out her childhood home, dealing with her obnoxiously good-natured younger brother and grappling with the complicated feelings of mourning a father she hadn't had a relationship with for years. Doesn't help that she's low-key convinced that her new neighbor, Sam Dennings, is a serial killer. He may dress business casual by day, but at night he's clearly up to something. It's not long before Phoebe realizes that Sam might be something much scarier, a genuinely nice guy who can pierce her armor to reach her vulnerable heart. One woman is going to have to learn how to give love a chance when she's used to suspecting the worst in this fresh romantic comedy. I already know. I'm gonna love this book so much. It just seems like the perfect rom-com to me. I'm so excited for this. Following that, I finally picked up a book that has been so highly recommended and requested on my channel. I finally picked up Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. This is what the cover looks like. I think it is so cool and aesthetic looking. I just love like the whole pattern. The Barnes & Noble we went to, I was actually really surprised because they had so many amazing books in stock that I feel like other Barnes & Nobles don't typically have. But we got the book. I'm so freaking excited. A formidable outlaw family that claims to be the first among nations, a son destined to lead, thrust suddenly into power. Three fierce young women of the Rotten, the Queen's premier guard, a legendary street thief leading a mission determined to prove herself. A dark secret that is a threat to the entire continent. An outlaw leader meets reformed thief, a cat and a mouse game of false moves ensues, bringing them intimately together in a battle that may cost them their lives and their hearts. So yeah, I don't know too much about this series, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. When you open it up, it's actually like a map, which I thought was really cool. I love when books do that. I think it's so cool and kind of allows you to visualize the world and stuff. So I'm really excited to finally try this out. Next up, we have three books here. One of the books I actually bought in a previous book haul, it came to my attention very quickly that it was actually the second book in the series. I thought it was the first one. It was actually the second one. Today, I was actually able to pick up book one, which is Once Upon a Broken Heart. This is by Stephanie Garber. These books, they are so beautiful. Book two is The Ballad of Never After. This is a book I picked up, I want to say about a month ago. This is what the book's like together. They are absolutely stunning. They are both Barnes & Noble exclusive editions, I believe. I love the pink and purple. These are literally like my favorite freaking colors. So I'm just absolutely obsessed. They're both hardcover books. And then book two, which I totally shared in a previous book haul. It's actually signed by Stephanie herself, which I thought was really cool. I was nervous that I was never going to find it and I found it today. So a lot of people say that it is so, so good and it's just something that I'm going to love. And I totally trust you guys because I've never read a book that you guys have recommended me and not liked it. So I'm really, really excited for this. This is what the spines look like together. They are just so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with these. Moving on from this, we have Caraval, which is also by Stephanie Garber. This apparently is connected to that series. I believe one of you told me that if I read the Caraval series first, that series would make way more sense to me. So I picked up book one. If you guys have read any of these books, definitely let me know down below. Let me know if they're connected to each other, if I should read this series first before jumping into this one. It's another book that has been highly requested on my channel. People rave about it. They say such good things about it. I think the first time around when I saw the book, I think I knew it was a little out of my comfort zone, so I didn't get it right away, but I feel like I'm finally ready to branch out and see what this is all about. I love the detail of these pages, so let me know what you think about it and if you think it's worth all the hype. The final book I am going to share with you guys is not a book I actually bought today. It's actually a book I got sent to me and I am super, super excited because it hasn't even been released yet, but it's by one of my favorite, favorite authors, Holly Jackson. She's the author of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. 
series, which I absolutely freaking love. It was like the first murder mystery type of book I've ever read. And it was so, so good. I thought it was like the perfect transitioning book like into that genre. And it is like a YA book. So it's not like intense or anything. The last book I have to share with you guys is I've Survived. It is Holly Jackson's newest book. It is coming out November 29th. I got sent a copy of it early. I am so, so excited to read it and give it a try. I have no doubt that this is going to be just as good. Eight hours, six friends, five survive. Red Kenny is on a road trip for spring break with five friends. Her best friend and her older brother, his perfect girlfriend, a friend from school, and the guy Red wishes was more than a friend. But they won't make it to their destination. When their RV breaks down in the middle of nowhere with no cell service, they soon realize this is no accident. They have been trapped by someone out there in the dark, someone who clearly wants them dead. Sounding kind of creepy. <laughs> With eight hours until dawn, the six friends must escape or figure out which of them is the target. But is there a liar among them? Buried secrets will be forced to light and tensions inside the RV will reach deadly levels. Not all of them will survive the night. Just reading that little bit seems a little bit more intense than a good girl's guide to murder, but I'm really excited. I'm very intrigued. I can't wait to dive into this. I feel like it's a little bit more spooky, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm excited. Okay guys, that is all for my bookstore vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. I love going book shopping with you guys. It is one of my absolute favorite things to do on my channel. I think it's time to officially put myself on a book Maybe I just won't buy any more books for the month of November. I think I'm really just gonna focus on doing some reading vlogs for you guys. I need to go on a book buying ban and shorten up my TBR list. My TBR cart is overflowing. My bookshelves are overflowing. It is time to put myself on a book buying ban at least until December because I do wanna go out and buy some holiday Christmassy rom-com reads. And I think that'll be like a super fun little holiday vlog to do with you guys. I cannot buy any more books because I am seriously, I am out of control. Really, like Cleo really gave me a reality check today. If you guys saw any books in today's haul that you have read or that you want to read, make sure to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on them. Let me know if you're adding any of these books to your own TBR list because I love knowing and seeing what you guys are reading and up to. We have some amazing books in this pile. I'm so, so excited to read all of them and do reading vlogs for all of them. Make sure to stay tuned for those. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out, lets me know that you like these types of videos. And then of course, don't forget to subscribe down below if you guys would like to see more of me, see more bookstore vlogs, see the reading vlogs. I post every single week. Sometimes I post more than once a week, more than twice a week. I love, love, love posting as much as possible because I love hanging out with you guys, chatting with you guys about books every week. It's my favorite, favorite thing to do. So make sure to subscribe down below if you'd like to join the fam. But I love you guys so so much i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you in my next video